Hello everybody, it's Lucas Suki here and I'm back with some more Donkey Kong Country 2 for the Super Nintendo where I'm going to carry on where I left off in Gloomy Gulch and um, I've got uh, one of the toughest levels in Donkey Kong Country 2 to contend with and that's where Woods and um, as soon as I say that people are going to be like oh man I know what you mean um, this is notoriously difficult one of the hardest levels and um, so many people myself included struggle with it the thing is it's not I have to say it's, it, the, I don't even think the bonuses are that hard to find I just think that like you have to use squitter and you've got to get across a load of large gaps and you have to kind of remember what you're doing every time you do it because squitter's got two types of webs he's got webs that he shoots out obviously and webs that you can actually use to create um, temporary platforms and it's easy to kind of mess up in this um, game because you I kind of sometimes get the webs confused particularly on web woods so that's I guess hence the reason why it's probably called web woods because not only do you have to use webs but you've got to remember which ones you're using and if you stay too long on a platform then you ultimately fall to the bottom because the gaps are just too large and the Kongs obviously need square there's literally no physically no way they can do it on their own I mean Dixie's ponytail won't carry her very far so let's drop down here and get in there right okay the squitter so yes the squitter is going to take the lead now and for the majority of this level so this is what I mean, you um gotta use his webs. And there's webs that shoots out, obviously webs that used to create platforms. So I always get them mixed up. And it kind of reminds me of a misty mine from the first Donkey Kong Country. And I do want to mention that um, I have already found one bonus room and I kind of saved it. Um as I was practicing this level I kind of didn't mean to so there will be a bonus room where I've already found the coin but I will show you how to get into the room and obviously how to find the coin anyway so yeah I have practiced this but I haven't had much success as the thing it's a very tough level um, you have to kind of get lucky a lot of the time I think it does take a lot of skill and a lot of patience and I'm already at the halfway point, so it's this level though, it feels a lot longer than it actually is, I think. But once you kind of get into the habit of just, okay, keep moving forward. I know it sounds obvious, but you just got to remember, keep moving forward, keep moving forward. Because the further forward you go, no matter how small, it, you know, it's obviously going to be closer to the exit when you get to it. You know, you're, you, you're getting closer and closer. hate this stage so much particularly with these vultures this level would be great without those bloody vultures they are so annoying and not only that if you don't get rid of them and you go off screen they respawn so you can just get really flustered quite easily there's that candy man gremlin as I call him crook there we go so yeah, it's very tough this, I don't mind saying. And there's the end there, no way I'm going for that, you must be joking. Ah, oh, the vultures. Oh Christ. I'm going to go up, I want the vultures to respawn, actually. Oh, no I don't. Oh, sorry guys, I thought I did. There we are. I just want to get rid of as many vultures as I, as I can. There we are. Directly in their path now. See the vultures kind of respawn when you go off screen, which again is very annoying. Right, I'll show you guys where this bonus room is. Anyway, my first order of business. 
even though I've already got the coin, I'll show you the route to get to it. Can't believe I made such a, a blunder. And there you go. See, his cannonball knocks open that wall. And it says find the token, so let's do this. Very tricky, this. So take your time with it. This is one, one, one instance where you have to take your time. I feel like that Jean-Pierre guy on the walk, that film The Walk, about the guy who walked between the Twin Towers in New York. There you go, that's where it is anyway, so yeah, I got it by mistake last time in my practice run, so not that my practice run was that successful. But yeah, um, I think a couple of the bonus rooms on here are like that, in which you have to kind of... I can't get the words out, so I'm just going to concentrate. See that? Bash open the wall is what I'm trying to say. I just got hit by that stupid zinger. So I've got to try, try again. And what's really annoying is, like, if you lose, you have to do the same bits from the continue point over and over again. There's no save states in the game, unfortunately. Although I'm sure that many people have kind of hacked this game and or have got it on emulator and stuff, which is, you know, I love emulators. Most people like whether emulators are a good or a bad thing. I actually like them. I don't have a problem with them, personally. I do have like an emulated um, Sega Mega Drive handheld, which I'm very, very proud of from Blaze. And that thing's awesome. Which reminds me, I will be doing, hopefully, trying to do some more Sega stuff on my channel. Now, I'm not uh, like an expert at any kind of game whatsoever, but I do kind of want to play oh, Shinobi 3 Revenge. Is it Revenge of the Ninja Master or something? That game's so cool. Um, and, you know, I might kind of use save states on it. I might kind of do it because you can kind of. With the Sega collection on PS2, you can actually instantly save it wherever you are. So I might just do that level by level and do like save states and stuff and just do it that way. <laughs> even though in the traditional way, even though I do say I like to do things the traditional way, um, when it comes to, oh for frick's sake. I'm just gonna get a bit higher because this is ridiculous. Then I'm gonna go up here. This is so stupid. I don't want to say it. Well, at least I'm hitting the vultures this time, anyway. Oh come on! I didn't even drop on the ball. That's ridiculous. I went to get down. And he's like, no, sorry, you hit my cannonball. You die. Oh, for Christ's sake! Do you know um? Oh, my voice has gone funny. I'm sounding a bit like Deirdre Barlow. Um, watch Mojo. I think they rated Webboards quite highly on their list. I think, was it? Most, 10 most difficult Donkey Kong Country levels or something like that in the series on the SNES. I think they, um, <coughs> pardon me. I think they disregarded the, um, was it the, they might not have done, I don't know, the N64 version. Donkey Kong 64 and just focused on the 2D. I could be wrong. I seem to remember some sort of list where that was the case anyway. But anyway, my voice is really funny. I think I'm coming down with the flu and I need to do this. And I know I can. I know I can do it. Do you know what would be cool is if, um, I don't know, <coughs> I'm probably thinking outside the box now, is if you could pick up a DK barrel and choose when to use it, like if you could carry it with you and then activate the hit point when you wanted, but that would render it pointless really, I'll just come up with a pointless uh, suggestion because it would activate anyway, or if you could activate it yourself I guess. I guess is what I'm trying to say, rather than the game automatically, um, you know, giving it to you, giving you the second player. I don't know. I may be giving you a third hit, I guess. See, I'm talking nonsense now, because it's been a long day and I'm very tired. I'm not making that mistake again. I'm not getting on your ball, mate. Screw that. I 
now I have to freaking do this. Crap. Part of my language. I want to get as high up as I can for this. I can't even do that because stupid zingers are in the way. <coughs> Pardon me. Yeah, man. Sore throat. Very sore throat. the thing about this game. I'm not going to make that web yet. There we go. Okay, look, there's something there. And we've got Kremlins. So I need to destroy the Kremlins. I need to get rid of all the Kremlins, unfortunately. They're glitching into the ground now. You see how they're glitching into the ground? I don't know if they're if that's if they're meant to do that or if that's an effect, but it looks pretty cool. Just die, will you? Got him. Okay. There you go. Right, second bonus room. Oh, collect the stars. I don't want to. Oh, okay. There we go. Oh, my God. Just bear with me. Right, there we go. <laughs> My throat is just killing me. But um, I know I've got to do this. Just give me a second, guys. I, I do apologise. I've just got to get some water. I know it's very unprofessional. I know it's probably not good, but I've got some coke. My throat is literally killing me, guys. Oh, there we go. I've made it to the end. Oh, DK coin. And I've got the DK coin, and there you go, guys. Oh, my God. I've done it. I've done web woods, I've done everything on it. Holy hell, that was tough. Right, let's save that if I can. Yes. Awesome, awesome. So yeah, I do apologize guys, very unprofessional. I shouldn't really be doing this with my sore throat, but I just wanted to do like more of this game. <coughs> so I'm very ill and I do apologize. Right, let me just have a sip of my coke. <coughs> 